five at Rod right. Hazard. Okay. Let's go. All right. Shut up. All right. <laughs> All right. Coming to you, coming to you live from my apartment. Uh, it's the Survivor of the Amazon 10 year reunion. And uh, here we are, uh, a number of cast members from Survivor of the Amazon. And first off, let me start with. Look who's here in my apartment. Oh, here he is. It's the one and only Roger Sexton. Yeah, the bossy one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so Roger is here with me live in person. Uh, Roger, are, are you impressed to see the uh, Rob Has a Podcast Studios uh, in action? Yes, very impressed. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then here with us, we are on a Google Hangout, for those of you guys listening to the audio version. Uh, here with us uh, from left to right, let me introduce these guys. You know them. Uh, here he is. Uh, that uh, He has a, a little bit of a different look since the last time you saw him on Survivor of the Amazon. And he just and he just got back from the gym. Uh, here he is. It's Alex Bell. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Happy to be here. What's up, Rob? Thank you yeah. for putting this together. Oh, thank, and thank you for being here, Alex. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing really well. I'm doing really well. Yeah. Things are good. Yes, and Alex is, is, is it, well. Alex has a lot of people at his house, including a. Uh, he even has a a Rob has a podcast fan who yes. uh, talked to, who found Alex at the gym, and and uh, he actually has a Rob has a podcast uh, fan in attendance at the house yes. tonight. Yeah, <laughs> Sean, he's right over here. There's Sean. Yeah, it's Sean. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he wore the plaid shirt in your honor. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, he's a real fan. Yeah, wow. And what and what's really funny is that we actually were already friends, and then he started following and found out that I was on Survivor. Like he, he no, we already he knew each other. Recognized you. All right, kind of recognized me. <laughs> All right. Well, and the, let me finish the introductions here. Okay. Then uh, to Alex's right here, uh, all the way from Olney, Illinois. Uh, it took us about forty-five minutes to get him on a Google Hangout, but we did it. Uh, here he is. It's Butch Lockley. Rob, Yay, it's great buddy. to be here with you, buddy. Looking forward to all the questions you got lined up for us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, then uh, to Butch's right, uh, here she is. She's the winner of Survivor of the Amazon. Here's Jenna Maraska. Yeah. I'm, I'm the only girl in the Hangout. The only girl in the Hangout so far. You never know who's going who's gonna to show up. Uh, <laughs> and, then, and Alex ran away just as you were introducing me. Typical. Typical. Uh, we were waiting on Dina to get started, but we had some. Uh, we, we got an update from Dina that some uh, real life work uh, called her away from this. Yeah. What the hell she, is that? She says, "Send everyone her love." <laughs> uh, I also I, I got a, I got a hold of Heidi this week. Heidi is uh, driving down to Florida for spring oh. training. So oh, uh, too she, cool for school. She's driving. She's driving a U-Haul van. She said down too to cool Florida school. with with a baby in it, so she can't make it. Uh, I emailed Christy. Christy is actually in India right now, and she says it's fr it's Friday morning, so she can't uh, she can't be with us. So just to give a couple That's updates. That's a big and, loss. And then where's, um, where's Matt? Matt is uh, he may or may not show up. We'll see. We may have pop ins along the way. He's Everybody has the link. across the Sahara. <laughs> no, he's at, I think he's at work. That's what he said. But anyway, so we have a, we have a lot of people. Who are uh, who have the link, and we may have we may be joined by more people along the way. If Ryan pops in, we'll know because he probably won't have a shirt on. <laughs> yes, Ryan right. will be the guy without the shirt. Hey guys, I'm a model. Hey guys, I'm a model. <laughs> Is that still what he does? Uh, yes. We don't know. Who's something? No, I just read his Facebook update. He's like, "Hey, Prada's first class. My shirt, my body's awesome. You know, typical." Wow. <laughs> That is, um, that's pretty fantastic. <laughs> that, that's an actual Facebook status update? Yes. Yeah. I mean, wow. he does have a sick body, but I'd like to punch him in it. Well, wow. Violence. Yeah. Threats of violence already. Yes. <laughs> this is devolving quickly. I like it. Yes. Yeah. I'd punch him, and then I'll have sex with him. Whoa. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So just to give you guys a little sense of how this is going to work for you guys watching us live, okay. uh, not only are we, are we live here, uh, if you're watching us on a Google Hangout, you can also chat along live on robhasawebsite.com if you go to the page on oh, Rob's cool. website. We have a new chat room there, uh, and you can uh, chat along with the other people who are watching the show live. And also, you can send us tweets uh, if you use the hashtag uh, RHAP. As we go along, and Jessica Frey, our web show producer, she is monitoring the chat closely, and she'll bring us uh, some of what you guys were saying in the chat room. I okay. like all the pictures in the background too that you yes, have up. 
We yeah, have memories. I've been working all day on a on a virtual collage, Roger. What do you think? I like that. I want to How did it come that? out? Remember we went fishing? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we showed can up. You, uh, can you email that around, Rob, so we can uh, we can have it for ourselves? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. I like that. Yeah, a lot of the pictures are of me, but that's just because uh, those are the pictures they gave me after I got yeah, the show. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, this picture of Dina. All right, so uh, why don't we so we go uh, real quick? Just give everybody an update on you know what everybody has been up to. Any big uh, you know big stories in the last uh, ten years? Uh, especially from, I mean, you guys hear from me all the time. Well, maybe not the people who are on the show with me, but uh, every, everybody else. So let's start with Alex. Uh, Alex, what what, are you, what have you been up to? And tell us about uh, what's been going on for you uh, in your uh, romantic life. My romantic life. My romantic yeah. life, um, my romantic <laughs> life is <laughs> awesome. I am, uh, I am married. I got married uh, about six and a half years ago to another Survivor alum, uh, Kim Powers, who has been floating around in the background. You see her walking in and out um, a few times. Um, and we live in San Francisco. Um, we've both bounced around jobs a little bit. Uh, we were doing, we were um, leading uh, active travel vacations for a while and, and moved around and um, then we got real jobs. Um, I went to work for a bike company. Kim went to work for a design firm and I just switched jobs to a little tech company called Travel. There's Kim Powers, see? That's what I'm married to. Hi, yes, Kim. Come, say, come say hello, Kim. Hi. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, things are really good. We uh, we live in San Francisco. We um, have a couple of cats and um, and a lot of good friends. And we have the world's cutest cat. We do have. Let's the say the cat. I don't cat. believe you. Let's say I don't the believe cat. you. Right. Hang on. Bring the cat. Bring the cat. Bring the cat. Bring the cat. We have the cat. We have the cutest cat. What's the cat's name? This is Squirt right here. Squirter. Squirty, say hi. Squirter. Boy, that could be really perverted. Oh, <laughs> it is a cute cat. I hate cats, but that's a cute cat. Yeah, this is Squirt. And then Shaba is around here somewhere, but Shaba. Shaba. Shaba, who is actually um, named after the Shaba Game Reserve, which is where they shot Survivor oh. in Africa, which is Yeah. Um, right. uh, she's really shy. She probably won't come out. Uh, she hears too many voices, and it was, she's probably hiding in the closet right now. All right, and... Yeah. and People and people are uh, are are loving uh, seeing Alex right now. Let me wow bring up a uh, that never happened. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's awesome. Uh, wow. Yeah. So we have this is this is from uh, Al Alex <laughs> Alex HP seven says O M G I'm having <gasps> a survivor gasm. You better wow. hope it's not yes. a splitter wow. like you your cat. So Whoever that is, that's uh, <laughs> yeah. someone's had, I'm having a survivor gasm. Yeah. And you better hope it's not a squirter like that cat of yours. Oh, hey now. Yeah. All right, Butch, how about, how about you? What's, uh, what's new in your world, Butch? Well, we, um, my wife is going to got two more years to go before she retires. I've been retired six years. I know it's going to be hard to believe, but I've been doing a lot of speaking, traveling across the Midwest, country, East Coast. Um, I know motivational speaking on if you want to believe it or not, the banner I brought on the show just believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and sound corny. Even Rob said it did, if I remember right. But uh, <laughs> been doing a lot of that. Don't put words in my mouth, group. Butch. I know I'm not trying to. And then I do a lot with uh, principals, other principals, administrator academies, continuing education with principals. Um, have one grandson from Josh, Amanda lives in St. Louis, got her doctorate degree. And Amanda and her husband Daryl, um, excuse me, Andrea. Oh boy, Jeez, Andrea Butch. and uh, her husband Daryl are going to have a, a baby in June, so we'll be um, grandparents again. So we're excited. We're like Roger. Roger's got a couple of grandkids, and we, uh, all right. we love congratulations. Them. Yep, that's, so, that's yeah, about that's it. That's great, Butch. Yeah. All right, good for Butch. And Butch, you know what? I, I did think that believing yourself was corny uh, ten years ago, but now I now I've come to realize that you were right. I don't I don't think it's corny anymore. Yep, you got to do, right. you got to believe, and then you got to do. That's what I believe in. That's right. All right, and uh, here's, let's go to Jenna. Uh, who uh, got, She's done it the, all. Yeah, most of the listeners of Rob as a Podcast have heard from Jenna uh, a bunch on the show. Uh, <laughs> so, give us, give us the, the short version if anybody's just tuning in and hasn't seen you in a long, long time. Um, I'm doing really well. I've been spending some time at home with my family in Pennsylvania, but um, for people, just recently, we did. Um, I did a hosted a show called Everyday Health for ABC, and we were nominated for an Emmy. 
So that was really wow. wonderful that um that we that we did, and I'm working on writing a book right now, and working on my own kind of TV show, and things are really good. So I'm really happy, and there's a lot of transition and change coming for me, but I'm really um happy to move into this next stage of my life. <laughs> And show us the collage that you made. Or somebody made, no, somebody made you a collage? It. My aunt made it. So it's like all the survivor pictures and, you know, from all the different things that happened, lots of crying. <laughs> so it's on the background. Give us some give us some texture in the room, you know? <laughs> very good, very good. Think about all my right. decorating skills. And, and let's uh, go to Roger next. Uh, here's here's Roger, uh, who is a uh, also has a goatee since uh, we Roger, saw him on the Amazon. Roger. Roger. Uh, Impressive. <laughs> my daughter uh, blessed us with two grandkids. Uh, oh. Uh, Drew, the boy is uh, nine. He'll be ten in November, and Hadley is seven, and she'll be eight in April. Yeah, actually, April tenth. My daughter's birthday is April thirteenth. Uh, I'm a year away from retirement, Butch, and uh, I'm going up to Walla Walla, Washington. We restored a home up there that was built in 1905, and uh, officially March 4th of next year, we'll be moving up there permanently. Whoa. Whoa small, wow. small, small, small town, 30,000 people, but it's like Napa was 20 years ago. It has over 80 wineries in town, and they make some wonderful, wonderful wine up there. Yummy. So, yeah. So that's Small what's Small town of 30,000 people. Man, Roger, you haven't been all in the Illinois, and Alice can tell you about it. That's a small town. <laughs> it's about 30. Yeah, but Butch, believe it or not, when I went uh, up there uh, six years ago is when we went up there, my next-door neighbor was an avid fan of the show, and, in, and <laughs> actually in the town, in that town, it was amazing. It was like well, when we were on the show, you know, the, they knew me, everybody knew me. And uh, it was really bizarre. <laughs> Roger, I, I, you'll, you'll I, have to have us come visit you. Yeah. Uh, you, hey, the door is open. We, it's a huge home, and uh, it, it's uh, it's really fantastic house. Yeah. So what, that uh, you started saying about how that uh, the people who watch who still watch the show, uh, and then you went in a different in a different direction. Is that what you were gonna say? I'm sorry about, about people who that uh, that you that you can't believe that people still watch the show. Yeah, I, I, I <laughs> honestly, seriously, I mean, but here it is, ten years later, and just a month ago, my wife plays a lot of tennis. Yeah, and this woman she plays with, her daughter said, "You're married to Roger." Said, yeah, <laughs> yeah, on Survivor. Me, Roger. See, yeah, well, I, that's what happens. You know, they all didn't hate me like you guys did, you know. <laughs> oh, no. And, you and, uh, know, and, and that's one thing. It's 10 years, and I've always wanted to say, you know, I, the last show when I got tossed, mm -hmm. it was brutal. And uh, I, there was on the, and I hardly ever go on the internet. But anyway, I did, and there was an article some guy was saying about how he watched that show, and he said, never had that happened before. Or subsequent to, where they treated, uh, you know, right from the get-go, you knew I was gone. And absolutely, that insult to injury was when you guys took my clean underwear and, you know, you played <laughs> taps to it. That was the next episode. That was the next that episode. That was not my I know, idea, that was, by the uh, way. Yeah, I know. Uh, all right, well, and let, let's talk about this, because <laughs> you, you also, like, the conversation we were having on the, on the phone the other day, what, okay, do you mind if I... If, sure, if go I, ahead. If, yeah. So, well... Just uh, tell the tell. Why don't you tell uh, at least these guys what uh, what you were saying to me the other day, and then and then I want to address. Well, that. you gotta, Rob. I'm 66 okay. years well, old. Well, you right? were saying that you felt what you said to me the other day was, you know, I recently watched that episode and I saw that you really hated me. Yeah, was what you said. Yeah, you came across, and that's what. Here's how this all started. Last year, I showed the first seven episodes of Survivor to my grandkids. Oh, cool. And, and they were mesmerized. And my granddaughter, Hadley, she says, Beepa, I don't know why they would vote you off. You, <laughs> you, you built a shelter? You mm -hmm. did all this stuff? Well, you know, it made no sense. And Drew also was that way. So, but in any way, 
Uh, I think you might have had some help building the shelter, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi, Alex, Alex, I have never taken credit for actually building the shelter. <laughs> I, it was, I'm, I'm an organizer, okay? Yes, for sure. And, and one of the things that came, I mean, for me personally, after my whole experience on this show, three things that happened on there. I forgot about the conversation you and I had about homosexuals. One. It co totally caught me off guard. Um, and it, it is, uh, you know, I don't care. I was called a chauvinist, which is the most hard thing to take. And that was really expressed when I got tossed, you know, that, like yeah. you, they all thought I hated women. Not yeah. true. Yeah. You know, these guys, it's television. Yeah. They it was also men versus women. Exactly. And you were seen as the leader of the men. So I think that was part of the well, you know, yeah. part of the story, and you were the one. Let's keep the men together. Well, wait, so, that was our plan, right? Until Alex went to the dark side. Yes, that, that, I, that you know Alex. What? Yeah. Totally. Hey, like, Alex didn't go to the dark side. He went to the pink side. Well, well, okay, the pink side, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, <laughs> to me, it was the dark side. And uh, I'll tell you, I, you know, it's funny, Roger. It, that that conversation that you and I had about about gays and and adopting kids and stuff. I yeah. think that got for it, for me, like I think that got more. Um, I had more conversations with people about that episode and that conversation yeah. than anything else that I think that happened on that show. Um, I agree. I got I got a, the night after that, the day after the night that aired, my phone like blew up with with people. Like it was it was um yeah it was it was a big deal for a lot of people. Was, well, you know, Alex, I agree. Been, You'll be That's surprised. That I remember more than anything else, guys. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I remember that night when Alex and Roger went after it on those conversations, and the other conversation I remember probably more than anything else for the 38 days is when you and Heidi, when Heidi had to accidentally take some food from the hospital. I don't know if you remember, and Roger, you jumped all over for that. Oh yeah, I don't know if you remember. <laughs> yeah, well, I, don't, oh, I do remember this. Yeah. Yeah. Those were the two things I remember more than anything else. But the Alex well, and the Roger had. A, I remember that. that. Was this I not remember on the that show? This it, it, they didn't. They didn't show. Did they show that? Much? No, I, don't I don't remember. So. I don't know what no, you guys you're talking about. Remember something that never made it to the show. Yeah, oh, it was something that never made. I'm just talking about major conversations. Yeah, that I remember yeah. having. But let me. Let me. Let's not leave this homosexual business because. Quite oh, frankly, no, here we go well, again. Alex, yeah, let no, speak. no, all of you. Let, let him finish. Let no. me just tell you, I got more telephone calls, seriously, from gay people in San Francisco that respected me. I'm yeah. telling you, it's the truth. I, it blew me away. Yeah. Res respected you for what? For being honest <laughs> about what I was saying. And yeah, they I understood that I'm... That I have nothing against yeah. homosexuals. Well, well, let's, well, let's check back in. So, ten years have gone by. A lot of things have changed. Do you feel? Do you have a different opinion than what than what you were saying at that time? No, I have not changed. It's very simple. Oh. I, all I the comment I made is, and I still say today, I don't care. It doesn't bother me one iota. Mm -hmm. I don't care. But it's interesting how, if you look at nature, it's not in the norm. Some people oh, are born with different chromosomes or whatever it okay. is and they can't help it. And some people are that way. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. One Lady way Gaga the says they're I want them all way. married. If they, this whole business about them not, you know, not allowing them to get married, that's bullshit. They should, if they want to get married, fine. Okay, see, I didn't think you, that. I didn't think that was your position. Well, that definitely I, I, was my position. That's what I said at the time to Alex, if anybody uh, would have listened. Yeah. Uh, we, what we got into about, you didn't, you, you were anti the idea of, of homosexual couples, gay couples adopting kids. Yeah. You got into it about that. I mean, but I appreciate that you, and I, I respect that you and I have different opinions about it, and I always did. And yeah, no, I, I, I don't hold it against you. I think it's, I think, you know, that's what makes the world work. We all are different. Yeah. We all have different, um, yeah. you know. All I, it shows is that, you know, on the show, I mean, I completely forgot about that until we until the episode went on there and we yeah. saw it. And, and I said, oh, man. I, I, in the office at my work, I tell you, every week until I got tossed, they said, what are you going to say tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they all said, what everyone said, and, and then it's enough yeah. of me. Well, and I have to it's, say that I, I, I've told you this before in the past that I feel I feel very terrible in that in that moment that I said.
that you were a bigot in that, and that's not that was is not the right word use of the word, and I'm sure I'm sure that created a lot of problems for you, and I apologize for saying that, and I was twenty uh, as a twenty four year old, um, you know, I, I I you know can't say enough that I really if I could take one thing one thing I said back in the entire show. That's uh, what you would take back. That's what I would take back. I feel bad. That was that was because that, that was a personal fuck attack. Yourself. And 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 you know that that right. was something that was that was outside of the game. That wasn't like uh, you know I, and I would say like, oh Roger's strategy is stupid. Like it it was a personal That's attack, true. and I and I apologize for that. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, right. I always I cringe when I when I see that, and I can't imagine you know the the problems that might have created for you uh, ten years ago and or and past that. Honestly, it didn't that much good however in reflection it was actually when I heard this thing and and I saw it again and I said, you know I said that was particularly vindictive and, and that really the show I don't think is about that yeah. kind of stuff. And I was especially overexcited that it was you know it was day what four of Survivor so I'm like uh, yeah. you know, I'm on TV and, and, and the producer and the producer's like all right keep talking keep talking um, and, and I was uh, very excited that you guys were fighting because I felt like, oh, this is an in an opening, uh, for an, an opening for me. So, so I so I do apologize for that. Uh, Rob, you pulled the wool over all of us. <laughs> I guarantee. Not me. Uh, no, maybe not no, you. Jenna. Jenna. Jenna got to vote me out. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about it that. Happened every, yeah. It happened to almost all of us, Rob. <laughs> yeah. I didn't vote you out, all. Alex. I didn't <laughs> vote you out. Alex is the only no. person in this chat that I didn't vote out. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Wow. It's the truth. It's yeah. Badge of honor. I don't, yeah. Nice. Oh. nice. <laughs> Alright, so um, I thought we, we kind of caught on to something uh, that was like, that was kind of interesting where we were talking about something that didn't happen on the show with that conversation. Oh, you want, yeah, you want to you Yeah, want well, to give, us that, that, give us that, that story. I mean, it's one of Butch's Butch, favorite Butch, memories. Butch, you, you tell the story because I, I don't so what happened? Still I, remember it exactly like that. Heidi was eating the food from the hospital? No, she was. Are you, Butch, you what? want to tell the story? Well, if, if you remember, she was, um, her dad was a physician at the, at the hospital. Right. And she was living off campus or living nearby, but she didn't have a lot of food and her parents didn't sponsor her. So, she was going to the kitchen and getting canned food out of the um, um, cafeteria. I think she said she was taking to um, some place for needy people. That's and, correct. Yeah, uh, taking it to needy people, and she was the needy people. And so Roger, he said, what? "That's stealing." And um, so they got in a heated conversation about that, and and um, that's when I just played my like get up and walk around and get away from it, just like I did with Roger and, and, and Alex. But uh, that's what I remembered about the conversation. Um, well, you pretty much hit it right. And I, I was very upset with her on that because, yep. you know, you, you, don't, you don't take food from people that need it. I mean, her dad's a doctor. You know, and she's got her a job in a hospital. I mean, it just wasn't right. Her dad's a and doctor? That's what she said. Me. Well, that's what she said. All right. Right, right Butch? Then. Didn't she say yeah, that? We're learning. She said. We're learning stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. But I think we got we well, it. Heidi turned out. Listen, she turned yeah. I I absolutely on the show, I could not stand her. I mean, she when I first met her, she said she was a brainiac. And I said, what is this? She has the highest IQ. She had a higher IQ than me. It doesn't absolutely matter. Way. She's the true <laughs> winner of Survivor because she married the baseball player. Yeah. Well, well Hamill, her, her husband is an excellent he really is. Yeah. I want whatever Alex is eating. Place for Philadelphia. What's that? I want whatever Alex is eating. It looks good. Yeah, oh, something yeah, it looks like avocado. Sorry, I'm totally unprepared for this. Like, I'm still eating my dinner. Like, sorry guys, I'm a complete disaster. Hey, yeah, we, actually, we actually have a comment about what Alex is eating. Uh, Jessica Fre Freya is, uh, says, Jordan Kalish asks if Alex uh, is eating manioc. No, no, no manioc. manioc. You know, Ooh, that's one thing I remember. I, I remember when Alex bought that manioc. I felt so sorry for him because <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't funny, much. Wasn't funny. I thought it was pretty funny. He got the manioc and then the auction, and then I got oh. that. Hey, I have a question I want to ask Rob. Yes, and everybody. Yeah, oh, and I don't know how Alex is and Jenna and, and Roger, but. I still watch Survivor. I'm still a fan. I still watch a lot of it. I watch it still. Rob watches and, it. Yeah, and I get I a lot of people. I get a lot of people come up to me and they say, well, "What do you think about the new Survivors?" I said, well, "What do you mean?" They then and they always say, "From your season on, 
because they said there was a change. You guys get the same response, like it got tougher after season, basically after no, season tougher. seven. No, tougher. I think it got yeah. easier. I, I mean, I'm, excuse me, easier after easier. season. Yeah, easier. easier. Like they give them food now for everything. Yeah, and they and do. like you, you take a friend and you can take a friend and you can take yeah. one more friend. We I had stinking manioc and we couldn't catch any fish. <laughs> people don't like to see people suffer that bad anymore. I don't know. I think it, it's a feeling. You, you guys are all right. That our show was a transition show. It, it was, was yeah, the last show. real Survivor show. <laughs> it was. It, they did six well, of them. They that. followed the philosophy. Uh, and what I uncovered for myself is that it was obviously television. Yes. And no. there is too much at stake. And I, I was telling, was I telling you this, Rob? Uh, well, it's been. I figured say. this out, and when I, when I got tossed, I sat down with Ryan and Dan. Oh God! Who both wanted to chew me apart? And Meredith, and Meredith was there with me. That's, that's I the, was. That's the uh, one of the, the people that handles uh, the yeah, spires at the Ponderosa. Oh, oh, you're telling yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. And so I sat him. I said, "You sit down there, boys." And I said, first of all, you're not going to tell me." You're 23 years old, and if you think a 56-year-old man who is a Marine, and, and then what well, I've been through in life, I don't care what you say or what you think, but I'm going to tell you right now, on what this you show, think? you guys did what they wanted us to do. What they, they did the psychological test. I don't know if anybody has ever looked at the fact that he had Butch and myself complete opposites. They had Rob and Dave complete opposites. They had Ryan and Dan. They weren't necessarily complete opposites. <laughs> they were best friends. They, but they had Matt, Matt, and Alex that were complete opposites. Wow, this is and they did the same thing with the girls. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you guys ever observed that, but never let did, me tell never, you. Never thought of it. Well, I guarantee you, Butch. And I sat him down and I told him what was going to happen. You and tell the only, and, and, and I, to the finish, I said, Jenna's going to win. And, and Whoa. the only the only mistake I made You're like Nostradamus. I, the only mistake I made. I, this is the honest truth. The only mistake I made was with Heidi. I thought she would stay longer, and 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 Butch stayed a little longer than I because of that stayed longer. But it was very simple, guys. When was our final? What what day was the final? It's a trick question. Uh, yeah. Like the date what was it December twelfth? It was Mother's Day. It oh, was, yeah. Yes. Yay. So they they plan they planned it all. They out? cannot they cannot guarantee <laughs> what's going to happen. Yeah, but they have a plan. Wait. So so no, Jenna, what did, you, what did you do that they fixed it for you? Why did you? Yeah. Why did they think? No, why did they, they pick you? I was just sleeping with everybody I could on the production staff and true? sucking sucking lots of dicks. Oh, yeah. please, Jenna, please, please. A, a, a family, family show. Family show. Better be uh, yes. You know what? Roger, on, I got a lot of my friends Double watching this. <laughs> yeah, Roger, right, right, right. Roger, you have a decent point <laughs> in that they cast the show. You know, they, they look for specific types, and especially, um, yeah, I mean, I think since our show. Like, um, so Kim and I, a couple of years ago, actually got to be the uh, the yes. keepers. Of the yeah, I want to ask you about so that. Yeah, go tell us about that. Um, oh. You guys all talked at once. I didn't hear any of you. That was awesome. Um, oh, tell <laughs> on, uh, us about on the that Nicaragua experience. Season. So it was uh, it was the Nicaragua season, the first Nicaragua season with uh, the one with Jimmy Jones, right? Jimmy, what's his name? Oh, Coach? Jimmy, Johnson. Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. That must have been so fun. It was, and so we took we took the non jury people on their trip. Oh yeah. Um, we got to, and it was it was a blast. We had a great time. They like gave us a bunch of money. Gave us like a big stack of cash and everybody's passports and said, here's the hotels you have to go to. And we've already set up all the transportation. It was a blast. We, we were in Costa Rica for three weeks traveling around. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so it was right after that, they, I got my job at Specialized and Kim got her job at IDEO. And so we actually, um, Lynn, Lynn Spillman um, asked us if we knew anybody who wanted the job. And so our friend now actually has that job and has since then been doing oh, it for like cool. three years now. So I'm sorry, Alex. Did you say that um, Jimmy it, Johnson? Did, it was fun. It was it was great, and it was really funny to be. What's that? Did Jimmy Johnson go with uh, you guys, or he went? He went off and did his own thing. He actually, they sent him home um, because 
they figured he would be too what? recognizable. It'd be too easy to recognize him, so they didn't send him along with us. Wow, we, didn't meet him. we got to meet him in Nicaragua before we left, but um, uh, yeah, they didn't send him, and they didn't send them. Um, what was that guy's name? There was another guy Spider that was on Shannon? that scene. You guys watched it. He was really annoying. Shannon. Oh, Shannon. Shannon. That idiot Shannon. <laughs> they didn't, oh. they, he, um, he needed to get a root canal. He needed oh, to get a root no. canal, God. so they sent him home, and we didn't have to, we didn't have to take care of him. Thank God. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's not talk about Survivor God. Nicaragua people too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and they, they probably could have sent him with us. But oh, they God. used the tooth as an example, as a as an excuse, because they knew he'd be a pain in the ass. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. You did not want to deal with that idiot. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's not again. Let's not well, turn into the, talk about too much talk about Survivor mm -hmm. Shadow here. We have a right. question. We have a question for uh, for Roger. And that this is this is something that's interesting. Uh, here we go. Let's. This is from uh, Cole Phelps, and he wants to know. I remember Rob saying that that Roger hated Ryan. Because he made noises in the place that they were staying pregame. Oh, is that geez. true? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very, don't you remember? He'd get up in the middle of the it's night. It's because he was shitting his pants. Yeah, I know. But he <laughs> tramped and made more noise going down those damn stairs. Yes. Yeah. I remember. And here, here I'm sitting behind the sheets. And next to me was... Heidi, and next to Heidi was you, Jenna. Yes. And the lights were in the silhouettes there, and Dave was having a conniption. Why? <laughs> I mean, it was. And, and oh, because and Andrew was right there. Oh, yeah. I was next to Heidi. You were. I, I, yeah, you were, and you were on the floor with us. You know, the two old guys, and and Joanna, Joanne was there too. Hallelujah. And, hallelujah. And, and, oh, yeah, hallelujah. And has anybody heard from her? No. no, no, I never have either. <laughs> but but the answer is that that's true. Ryan was making a true. lot oh, of noise. Yeah, yeah, he really he made a lot up. of noise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he definitely oh, made I, a, I, a scene. Yeah, I went to the ham because remember he was talking to them all the time. Yeah, yeah he, he I mean, almost got me in trouble. He almost got me kicked <laughs> off because he was talking to me, and the, and they were like, "You have to stop talking to him." And I'm like, "I'm not talking to him. He's talking to me." Yeah, and he, they were pissed. Yeah. Yeah. He, it, you know, well, you know, we, we tossed him. It was it was either him or Dan, and I'm telling you. Did you guys remember at the Ponderosa, we had to be there like at a certain time, and then we'd all be down there, and then 10 minutes later, here would come Dan walking in late. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. That dude was, yeah. Well, yeah. you know, the first night we got there, and we had to walk through the water yeah. off the boat? Yeah. The very yeah. first night, and, and he, like, uh, he couldn't. He, didn't he couldn't to, handle it. He took his shoes off, I remember. He didn't want to yeah. get his shoes wet. Yeah. 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 Well, nobody likes a wet shoe. Nobody likes that. <laughs> I mean, come uh, on. Well, those, those first days where we couldn't talk and couldn't look at each other, I mean, we all came up with our own impressions of everything. Yeah, I thought Rob was Jewish. <laughs> oh. Well, a lot of people think that that aren't even yeah. playing Survivor. Yeah. 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 Um, so I, we have so many different directions that, that we could go into. I have uh, a bunch of questions from the, do you believe this, Roger? People actually submitted questions for us to answer. All right. Let's do I, it. I, yeah. Let's do yeah. some. All right. All right. So here we go. Let me start with a good one. This is one that everybody wants to know. This is from uh, Costa, uh, a.k.a. Rob's Fact Checker. Uh, he wants to know, okay, officially, who brought the granola bar? Christy. <laughs> I would like to know. I don't know. Well, Jen is the only one that was there. Can, can, I, can I field this question? I know you guys yes, are thinking Alex. that I'm going to field this question, but here we go. I have never told this story except to friends. Oh, no, I'm going to tell you Alex. guys right now. No, this is a true story. I swear to God. The Shit. morning we left, the morning we, we hadn't gone out yet. We were still oh, at the, the – no. we were still up in the trees, in the treehouse. Yeah, getting away and all that. Yeah. Too. Yes. And I wanted to change my pants. And so I asked one of the production crew if I could change my pants. They were like, yeah, sure, go ahead. There's your backpack. I went over. I got my pants out of my backpack. Do you know what was in my backpack? The granola, granola bar? Wrapper. I swear to God. And I took it out, and I handed it to somebody. I said, this was in my backpack. <gasps> and then I changed my pants, and I swear to God, swear on my life. Swear you swear on, on your life, Alex? Through. I swear on every. I swear on my life. I swear so on my So you're saying that somebody put them in our bags? Or certain I'm people's saying bags. in my backpack, there yes. was one. 
I, I, I don't know what happened on the women's side, but I, I swear to God that was in my backpack. Well, Alex, that changes everything. Alex, this is Roger. Yeah. <laughs> I, yes. uh, we know. I, yes. You can't tell. Anyway, <laughs> I remember you doing that. See? I absolutely so, remember you doing that. So, and If you wouldn't have found that granola bar, then you would have been in the same situation as on our tribe. Yes. Yeah, Jenna, that's back to what I was telling you before. So are you saying what it was they a, set a up. plant? Oh, oh, absolutely was a plant. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know if it was I don't a buy plant. that. The official, the official story, when I handed it to someone, I was like, oh, someone must have dropped that when they were packing your backpack. Because remember, guys, we didn't pack our backpacks. They packed our backpacks. Well, I'll be that naive because let's say, let's play this out. Because it was that you guys found it. Like, let's say it was in the game. Let's say it was in the game. Alex opens his bag when he gets there. It's like, oh, he's going to grab a granola bar. He's going to put it in his pocket and go eat it. If he's smart, he's going to go eat it in private and not let it fall out like, uh, like somebody at the women's camp. I don't know. I think enough drama. They have Rob, enough drama. Rob, it was not a granola bar. It was not a granola bar. It was, not a granola yeah. bar. It was, it was just, just the wrapper. Just the wrapper. Just the wrapper. Oh, yeah. that's even worse. Right? So now it looks, Wait, if, if it looks like you, out, and now it looks like you already ate it. That's yeah. correct. That's yeah. even just, worse. I don't know. Uh, we're voting people out every three days. Do we need drama over granola yes. bars in, <laughs> in the game also? Always. Is that a, Oh, and we need to drama. really ratchet it up on the granola like bar wrappers. Hey, all right, let me see. What are people, people that are listening? What are they? What are they saying? Let me, oh, let me see in the chat room. What, that do, what do you guys think? my head off. Let me see. Let me see in the chat room. What do you think? Uh, are you yes. buying it or not buying it? Let's see. Well, I don't think it's an issue of that. Obviously, he's telling the truth. Well, no, I'm, uh, nobody's de de nobody's uh, denying. You mean are they buying? Like, did they put it in there on purpose? Yeah. 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 Or, Let's see. Hey, yes, is, it, is it possible somebody just knocked over a box of granola bars? Oh, back yeah. back? No. oh come on. No. You All can't right. be that naive. All right, so so Alex is saying that, <laughs> that nobody brought the granola bar. But why But why did it surface after like ten, eight days? How many, what days? Well, you didn't find it on day it one. Fell up because we had all of our packs in in that box because it rained, and we were taking them out, and things were like fell out. That's yeah. why. You know, so it could have been in there. We just, you know, wouldn't have seen it. But it probably fell out when we were taking people's bags up. We were picking them up probably the wrong way, upside down. Stuff was falling out, and but, that's kind of how it came all out. Right, well, we'll, right. we'll, we'll agree to we'll, we'll agree to uh, more now. It's only a bigger mystery now. Oh, uh, I still think it's nothing. Christy. It's Christy. <laughs> all do, right. Do you remember the nuts? The, 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 the what nuts? Oh no! What now? Oh, the the uh, you the, can't the mine suit? something. <laughs> They're nuts. Yes, but you, so so what, what what are you saying about that? Are you saying remember that? they were spreading yeah. the nuts? Oh, uh, uh, so there was there was Rob. Bob's you're so, never going to yeah. be allowed. Are you talking to have about the Babasu nuts? Yes. Yes. And All this we had more fun with that, guys, if you recall, because we, All this there, scandal, we Rob, said there was this big storm. Yeah. And all the nuts came out of the trees, and we were picking them up off the ground. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I'm not gonna because it, it, I don't want to ruin it for everybody, you know. But yeah. it, it, too it, late. Oh, Ask I'm another still... question, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, okay, so this is a, this is from uh, Brian Farrell, and he wants to know any fun moments not shown on camera. So we call, we had the fun moment of of Roger and yeah, Heidi bunch. fighting over the yeah. over the canned food. Yeah. Uh, no, what, what a bunch of, of fun moments. Like, yeah, what, there were a bunch of fun moments. Like when uh, we got, we had that wedding. Remember? Oh my God! Yeah, I wasn't yes, there. Yes, Alex yeah. got married to. Who'd you get married to? Heidi. Heidi? Yeah. No, I, yeah. I, yes, and I was the bridesmaid. Well, totally, Rob. I think you presided over it. Yes. <laughs> that well, I really. You know I, what? I'm saying this, it's it is coming back to me. Yeah, we, we, we had a toss across. Our toss across game. What's that? Right. The, the um, thing we threw in the bring bags. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You yeah, know, one of, the fun, one of the funnest, funnest days I had was when we went to practice the blowgun and the oh bows and arrows. Remember cool. that? We, we were practicing all that. That was, we had a lot of fun. Why yeah. was that fun? Yeah, yeah. with the blow guns. How I've never had a blow gun before. I, of course, I had to blow an arrow. <laughs> but, and then we had the bags. I thought, but then you guys went sunbathing one day. 
Yeah, that yeah. was a stupid yep. idea. Yep. But in, in fairness, that was like for 15 minutes. They right? really they really overplayed that on the show. Yeah, like, they, they did. They did. It. They but really wasn't there a picture? <laughs> but wasn't there a picture of poor Butch dragging a limb yeah, down I, the hill right and, by him? No, yeah, it was probably doing, a picture yeah, of Butch collecting yeah. firewood. It, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me set that up a, a little bit because uh, this, this is what we're talking about when uh, myself and Alex and Heidi and Jenna – were you know laying out in the sun we were there was basically like tree cover over everywhere that we were especially after the merge so there was there was not a lot of time where you were in the direct sunlight so there was like a point where at like it was like noon the sun was directly overhead and we said all right let's, let's yeah let's get some sun here and boy i have to say butch and matt and christy really hammed it up of like Oh, we're the only people working right. around here. We, 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 we got to do we, all this we, work. We, we. And around going, on the, going in the sun. You know what you were doing? So, you were collecting more much. firewood. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, Butch was just trying to burn down the camp. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I get more hassles over that than anything else, and I didn't well. even start the fire. It mm -hmm. wasn't my fault. Matt threw a log on the fire on the way out to challenge. And the embers went up and caught it on fire. It was not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So anyway, Roger, you have a, you have a, uh, a theory about the. You don't think it was Butch or Matt that burned down the camp? That's correct. Oh, who burned, gosh, you are who so burned down the today. camp, Roger? I, I'm not going to. You can say, say anymore. It. You know, we signed that lengthy contract that says we, we can tell anything. You know. So you, so I, you, I, you think I, there was foul play? Hey Roger, I think I, that I, I'm not. A, I know you think everything that I think is in fact truth. Is it? Is it true that it was actually Alex that came back and burnt down the camp? No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh you didn't see that, Roger? That's true. <laughs> All I know is there's a camera on the fire. Okay. A still camera. Not some guy holding a camera. A still camera. Rob, camera. you're never going to be allowed to interview any Survivor contestant again after yeah. this. <laughs> no. We, we may have ruined this for you for a long time, Rob. I don't think yeah. so. I don't think hey, so. Hey, there's only one person to blame, and that's me. And I'm only one person. <laughs> okay? And you, if you guys all say I'm wrong, then they can all believe that, that I'm wrong. Me? I wasn't there. Okay. You know, I'm, I didn't I, see it happen. I wasn't there either. Right. Now, I was there. And Butch, saw it. But these I was guys, there. These and guys what happened did. was, I saw it on camera. They threw the log on the fire. The embers went up and caught the camp on fire. Yep. All right. Okay. Here we go. All right, here's, here's, a, here's a question. This is from Liz Irwin. She wants to know what exactly was on Shauna's face to make it so dirty. Why? Why was Shauna's face uh, very dirty during? It was Alex's slobber. Oh, is that true? Is that true? Oh. Is that what it was? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I, no, uh, her face was dirty before. Yes, yes. Yeah, you guys, Roger. Roger. Her face was dirty. <laughs> and, but seriously, that girl, I mean, it was like pig pen. Really. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what happened to her. She just attracted know. all the dirt. But she yeah. looked cute with it. It was like it did it did okay with her. But at the same time, like she was the opposite end of the spectrum from Matt because Matt would wake up in the morning like looking like death. And he would, yeah. like, walk away, and five minutes later, like, his hair would be perfect, and he would be like, hey, how are you? Yeah. Like, it was so bizarre. I don't know how really he worked weird. that out. It was the exact opposite of Shona. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Nathan Bayless wants to know, since there were no Life at Ponderosa videos from Amazon like they do now, are there any good stories of, of things that went down from Ponderosa? Yes. Didn't two of you guys kiss on the toga party? Yes. And I know who those two guys are, and I'm not one of them. Well, one of them is on this chat. This Google. One of them right is now. on this chat, and one of them might be a rocket scientist. <laughs> yes. And one of them may still have a picture <laughs> of the event. Oh, where's yeah. that picture? Well, it's just right. Let me, all right, so here, let me. Well, let me. Uh, here, let me. Let me. Uh, Blow, blow the Explain sound yourself. Get, me, you better get the right, sound away, so, Rob. So this is this is the this is the key <laughs> to when somebody tries to blackmail you is that you expose yourself, Butch. Uh, so here's here's what we did. So it's it's night thirty eight, okay? And so I get voted out, uh, very unceremoniously voted voted out. Um, and so they told me after they, they like, I get voted out, and they give me like, oh, here's a can of soda, here's some Oreos, and they tell me, uh, okay, we're having a toga party tonight. Like, this is great. This is this uh, this whole night just turned around for me. Yeah. 
And so we have a to we have a toga party. And so we go we uh, go ahead and, and you know everybody's drinking. With Mark and, Burnett and Jeff Probst. Yes, by the way. Mar yeah. no no Jeff wasn't there. Mar Mark was there though. Yeah, Mark was there. You weren't there, so you can't tell us who was there. And now was this on the boat or in the? In <laughs> this the is at back at back at the boat at the boat. At the boat itself. Yes. So we have like a, like a, like a, beach, like a, a beach party and everybody is there. Now, mind you, you know, I have been I have not really been eating for thirty eight days, and now we're drinking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and drinking a lot. <laughs> So uh, we're we're playing like a bunch of a bunch of games, and one of the things that that come up is we're playing Truth or Dare, and <laughs> so there's like two girls. I don't even remember who go what girls with it. Hang on, Rob. Yeah. I'm gonna have to play. We were not playing Truth or Dare. Well, what are we playing? We were playing what? It was a it was a game that Mark Burnett made up. Okay. Oh, he said he's a good. Yeah. Yes, and he said. He was so the women were all sitting and, and there was a bunch of production women there and they were all sitting on one side and all the guys were sitting on the other and they were asking the first round was just asking questions like giving us um like uh, um situations like what what would you do like would you do this would you do this kind of seeing what our limits were yeah and then we went into the physical challenge round <laughs> <laughs> yes what is this game called again no we are your, your limit or find your no. limit or something like that. Yes, um, a rejected will, pilot for Mark Burnett, I believe. Right, seriously. I will put myself, I will throw myself out there. I did the naked hokey pokey that night. Yes. I heard. Okay. Yeah. So things are getting crazy. We're in, right. we're in the Amazon. People are drinking, except except for, unfortunately, for Alex, who is has a very lucid and clear memory of all this. Because he <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. The one when you go drink. Yeah. <laughs> So I think that well, but one of the so there were there were two girls that were gonna make out. One of them was like, uh, one of them was like a girl that was like a handler, right? And was somebody like works for? Well, we don't have to say who it was if they worked for production. But right. there were basically two girls that were going they're gonna kiss, and yeah. they were like, oh, we're not gonna kiss until until you guys until you guys kiss. And so I think after much thing, they uh, I don't know how. how you and yeah, I think so, Mark Burnett and it was and so it ended up be I don't understand if Mark Burnett said to do this or, or what. I don't know. We're I heard throw, Mark Burnett told you to do it. Yeah, we'll 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 throw Mark Burnett under the bus for this. Seriously. Uh, and so and, and so I I kissed I kissed Dave and it was like a kiss <laughs> that you would like on, on, on Saturday Night Live. They 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 do you know, much, much worse than this. It was it really was like a tongue kiss. Uh, it was not a tongue kiss. You weren't there. You were tongue yeah. kissing Matthew yeah, that night. Yeah, but that's what you I don't... that's what I visualized. Let me go with it. <laughs> you can visualize that. But again, and so somebody took a snapshot here at the exact what? moment uh, that what's going on. Yeah, apparently, uh, it was pretty pa brilliant. Paparazzi Lockley uh, was there with his with his uh, with his uh, instant camera. Um, yeah, that so he's he won. Blackmailing me. Five hundred dollars, you can get the picture. I want five hundred dollars. I have, I, and I have a copy of it too. <laughs> you, you made I copies? One. Yeah. <laughs> Butch gave me a copy. I think I gave you one when Alex. <laughs> I think I gave Alex one. Yep. Yes. No, I know Alex has one because the people from Survivor Nicaragua that went on vacation with Alex were telling me about that they have. They went, oh, they're going to show. They're going to send. They're going to put the picture on the internet. <laughs> That's yes. funny. I love it. So uh, this is taking on. Yeah, and, and then I don't. I don't even think that those girls even did kiss. No, no, because you guys were the showstopper. You guys were the absolute showstopper that night. Yeah, it was done after that. The it's game was over. <laughs> you know, and I knew two seconds after I answered this, after I asked this question, this is where this was going to go. And yeah. I realized that it that was, was another. <laughs> the, the, the toga party. Well, that's a good epic. story. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was great. Yes. Another thing that <laughs> another thing that uh, did not make it to the show, and, and thank goodness they did not have Ponderosa videos then. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they yeah. do now. Yes, they said. Roger, not only do people watch the show, they watch videos online about stuff that didn't even happen on the show. Right. You Mondo know, they talked Ocean. about that for us when we were in Barilochi, which was, I tell you, my two and a half weeks there was. You lo you oh, liked it. I loved it. It was oh. the best part of the See, I was there one year later, and I did not care for it. Well, I know, but you don't, you don't, you don't <laughs> climb. I did not you don't care. ride mountain bikes. No. You don't climb. You don't <laughs> go down the river and. Hey, anyway, I just loved it. But they talked about it then because cause when we got there, we had this heated argument, you know, and, and, and it, it, they were talking about that they were considering doing that, filming uh, us away. 
Yeah, and they, and they do do that now. Is what you well they do well, they, Ponderosa where yeah they don't take the on, on the nine the nine stick. Okay, yeah. Uh, here's a, here's a question. Uh, Natalie Kuchik says we know Rob kept the magic eight ball. Does anybody else have any memorabilia they saved from their time on the island? And uh, let me well let me just uh, now we we mentioned the magic the magic eight ball. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes, here's wow. you know here we have the, uh, the that <laughs> when did it get burned in, in the, Wait, on in the, the fire? Yes, in the fire. Yes, it still it was, worked. Everything melt. Everything went down, went down that day. Still, yep. Can it still <laughs> answer questions? Let's see. You want to ask it, Roger? Yeah, you can ask some... it if Ryan Aiken has his shirt on right now. All right, hold on. Let me go, let me go up by the let me go by the camera. <laughs> does, does Ryan Aiken have his shirt on right now? I guarantee you, it says no. You can't really. You can't really. What's uh, that? Can you make that out? No. I kind of could, but not really. What's it say? <laughs> yeah. What's it, it, say? it is decidedly so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's still so it doesn't, correct. It doesn't hold up. It's not. It didn't hold up that great. The magic. The magic. But but pretty good for hey, something that was you know ten years old and in a fire. So I guess I can't complain too much. But do you guys have any now. good any good props or memorabilia left from the show? I have tree mail. Dave sent me the tree mail frame that said that for when we went and did our little like, like shower overnight pick new teams thing, the prepare to have a little fun. He framed it and sent it to me, which was really nice. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. I still, I have my, uh, I have my machete. Yeah. So oh, do really? I. Yeah. I thought we all got. Yeah, machetes. I got mine. We, I got mine. I got my machete. I bought the, um, oh, you the bought, torch. Yeah, you bought I bought the torch. Yeah. And I got the uh, cooler that the um, beer was in when we merged. Really? And then, wow. Yep. That's funny. And That's then I cool. got tree mail. I got the tree mail when the one where he went in a maze and, and I ran Alex and, and Roger and all the stuff and we lost it to the girls. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I, I got the tree mail. Dave Johnson gave that to me because he knew I felt bad because I thought oh, I did bad. It's Dave just because like the boys would not listen to my voice. So I had to direct them all back where the girls, they Butch. followed the voice back. Butch, I we also don't, have we don't want to go there, Butch. Yeah, that's all right. Let's go, let's go there. Let's go there. No, no we don't want to go there. <laughs> My question is that you notice that nobody brings luxury items anymore. Do you guys I, notice that? Oh, they don't do I that know. anymore. I know. How come no, they don't they do it don't. anymore? I also have Rob's boat for me to win, which is really fun. Wow. Yeah. Oh, where he wrote it out. Oh, that's cool. There, there you go. Yeah. Was that on eBay or did you just get it? No, I stole it. Now, I got away, and I don't know if you guys had the same experience. We had to turn our buff in, supposedly. Yeah. You yeah, stole I yours, didn't you? I yeah, I mine. stole mine. I yeah. stole mine, too. I had the only buff, as far as I know, that was the buff that was on on the island. Well, I think they yeah. gave them back to us at the reunion, no. right? No, we got, no. we got new ones. We got okay. new ones at the reunion. Hey, and I don't know how to break it to you, Butch, but, you know, the torch you bought was actually mine. Oh. Yeah. You know, we didn't have like a lot of these seasons. They have like name tags on the torch. I, we just picked up, a, like, you picked up a different to. one. Yeah, I, yeah. Know. I yeah. had mine had the name tag on it. Alex has seen it, so that's true. Oh, oh, that's true. It had a name you, you tag on it when we were on the show. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, it did. He no. was the only. You were the only one that had it then. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I don't know. Where do you keep going, Jenna? I had to go plug my computer, and it's dying. Ah. Yeah. And I went to get food because you're making me hungry, Alex. Yeah, well. Hey, Rob. Salad. Yes. Before yes. the show goes over, I want to make a comment. Okay, uh, go for it. Uh, Matt, Matt's been here to uh, Olney. Heidi's we got to visit me in Olney. And, of course, Alex has been to Olney. And all of them had a great time. We had fun. And they, they made a lasting impact on our community. But one thing that they, people have brought to my attention was after they left, They'd make a comment like, "Those guys are just regular old people, aren't they?" And and I go, "Yeah, they are." I said, "Just like all of us." And they always thought that being on the show, you're a celebrity, you're superstars. But they were really impressed with the way that all three of them handled themselves. So I'm just patting them all on the back. If anybody's watching this show, they they really did well here. It wasn't like having Johnny Fairplay in your town. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Johnny Fairplay banned from Olney? No, no. I mean, I wouldn't have, wouldn't let him in my. Uh, he wouldn't make it out of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, right. I just wanted to make the comment that everybody was impressed that they're regular old people and they're and Alex was nice and the kids loved. They fell in love with him. 
the stories he would tell. Uh, mm -hmm. The one of the best stories, the question that was asked by a high school or here in town was, who did they portray, portray the, um, that was not very true? In other words, who was the worst in the show? And they said it, it was really bad with Heidi and yeah. Jenna because they really were nice people. Mm -hmm. He says, wow. um, and then he yeah. said, and my man Butch. They said they they have Butch saying nothing and Butch just ba 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 ba, you know. And that As was we but, see right now. Yeah, but anyway, for all of them, I just want to make that comment in case people are listening that they uh, they handle themselves well. I would expect nothing less from them. That's right. Yeah, Butch. What what did you and Matt talk about in the boat all, when you guys were fishing all all the time? What did you guys say? You in that boat for like? Yeah, like, we were not. Yeah, we, we we would fish till we couldn't take it any longer. You know, I'm, I was pretty tough, but. And you've got about 115, 120 degrees. It'd be tough. Even the worms that were, I couldn't eat them because they were mushy. You know what? We just talked about anything, and we'd lose a hook. Matt would jump in after the hook. I go, "Don't do it, dude." You know, and he'd jump in after the hook. And Matt's and an animal. I know. I said, "You're crazy." And but we got down to two hooks, and if it wasn't for Jenna's hat. People don't know this. If it wasn't for your hat. Me? I wouldn't have got that wire. Remember, I got the wire from your hat. Yep, the and wire made, from the hat. That's why I brought it. it. And put it in a hook, and that way the piranhas weren't biting that hook. That's how we People got some don't more know fish. that's why I brought that hat. It wasn't just stylish. It was functional. Yeah, yeah it was functional, and it helped out. So all we do is just talk. Talk about when we get home. Talk about food. Food. Most of the time we talk oh. about food and eating that Cracker Barrel, which Alex got to eat at Cracker Barrel. Country fried steak, baby. <laughs> that's right. You, you know... I did. Gravy, uh, gravy I, over I everything. Got to go to, uh, I got to go to Cracker Barrel with with the legendary Butch Lockley. Yeah. yeah. Did you I, get I, country fried steak? Yes. Yeah. Well, for for people that don't know what we're talking about, Butch started like somewhere along around like uh, maybe not in the beginning, but around like uh, by the time like we merge, then Butch couldn't get a sentence out without talking about Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I mean, he just became obsessed with, cra with it was either Firewood or Cracker Barrel. And Matt, at that Matt point. couldn't stop talking about Mandarin Duck, remember? And, 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 right. Peking oh, Duck, Peking Duck, Peking Duck. Peking Duck. Peking Duck. Peking Peking Duck. Yeah. yeah. And so, Alex was on Taco Bell. He said, I'm getting home. I'm going to order Taco oh Bell. God. He said, they go, what do you want? I, and I remember this. Alex said, I want every entree Everything. you have. I yeah. want it all. Yeah. I want it this yeah. big. Yeah. Can I yeah. tell about the, the auction real quick? When uh, when Butch wins, uh, Butch wins like a covered item at the auction, and he wins breakfast, and Jeff Probst says to uh, Butch, all right, all right, Butch, <laughs> tell us. Now, where's your favorite place to eat breakfast? And, and Butch, what, what, I'll, be, I'll be Jeff Rose. Uh, Butch, where, where's your favorite place to eat breakfast? Cracker Barrel. <laughs> and Jeff's like, no, no, that's not it's it. It's bed. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> yeah, I didn't answer. catch on. Finally said, oh, it's breakfast in bed. <laughs> that's when he gave me that mat. And the mat, the first night I had the mat, I didn't sleep on it. Alex slept on it. And and then the next night he got voted off. I don't know how that. Yeah, happened. it was a bad luck mat. It was a bad luck mattress. Thank you. <laughs> bad yep. luck mattress. Right, yep. and then you vomited on it. It was a <laughs> no. really there bad was, luck mattress. There was a lot yeah. of. That was the wine. On it. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> it was the wine that you drank. Yeah, you know, um, the when back at school I was doing bus duty right after the episode, and I'm standing out, and the school board president came up, Dr. Mastio came up, and said was talking to me, and the kid came up and said, "Hey, Mr. Lockley." I really like the way you got drunk and barfed on national TV. <laughs> yeah, there were, said, a of, there were a lot of fluids going around that night. Sins of alcohol is what I told him. Sins of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's a question from uh, James, and he wants to know, uh, was Matt really that creepy as the show portrayed? Now, they made a big deal out of this in, in, the, in the middle episodes of the show. Uh, I know Alex uh, was was uh, you know jumped at this question at the at the reunion. Uh, was Matt really as creepy as they portrayed on the show? I, I would say they they definitely overdid it on yeah. the show with the music and the editing and everything. But um, it wasn't well, so much as creepy. He was just a little bit socially awkward. Yeah, I man. He's a, yeah. He's just he's like he, too smart for his own good. Mm-hmm. Socially. Well, I thought the show did a great job when they had the machete and Rob's in the background talking about, oh, man, he's crazy. I think, it, I mean, that was perfect editing. 
I remember seeing that when sharpening his machete and Rob's going, I don't know what he's going to do. He may cut my head off tonight. He did get a little scary for a little while when he dehydrated at our camp, Alex and Rob, when, at the new Jabiru. He got dehydrated and he, like, lost it. And we, he almost got voted out and yep. he took that really hard and he got a little cuckoo there for a little bit. Hey, how far away was the girls' camp from our boys' camp? I have no, no idea. idea. Then, well, Alex, you went to the girls' camp, right? Yeah, but you know how it is when they move you around. Like you don't know how you don't know you where know, you're going or how you get. No getting. idea where you're going. Oh, so they had All you. Oh, we know they could the be floating way. us in circles for three hours. Yeah. I mean, they gave us that. They gave us that map, and then we walked to where we had to go on the map. So yeah, yeah. It was easy yeah. to tell. Um, right. There was a legend <laughs> on the map. Uh, so uh, <laughs> how about this? Uh, this is another question of the great, the great questions of the Amazon. Uh, let's see what you guys have to say. Ermin Z says. Christy voted for or against Jenna for winner for winner was it a mistake? All right, well, she voted for um, she the voted only for vote Jenner. for Matthew was Butch. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. I don't I know don't whether it was a mistake it, or not. It, it wasn't a mistake. Christy showed me like what she said on her fight when she voted for me to win. She got the transcript to show me because she wanted to prove that it wasn't a mistake because she was annoyed by that. She's not stupid. You know, sometimes oh, no. she can get a little confused, but I don't think that she made a mis she would make a mistake like that. You know, one thing I got to do, and it sounds like I'm maybe talking too much, but I was in Chicago no. at the Rosemont speaking one time, and you're not going to believe this, but a lady came up to me, and it was Christy's mom. She got to be there when I talked about Survivor and oh, believe gee. in yourself, and that was really neat. And I'm I made a made a point. I made her mom stand up and talk about Christy. So it was just. Really pretty cool to have Christy's mom there. I hated Christy on the show. I thought she was such a bitch, and no one got to see it. But after the show, I actually really like her. She's we're friends now, and it's fine. She was. I think we got we didn't get along because we butted heads a lot. But I like her now. So I had the exact same experience with Christy. Like during like she did she hated me on the show, and we didn't yeah. get along, whatever. But afterward. Um, and they, we hung out a little bit, and we were all in New York stuff. And she's awesome. She's yeah. she's super cool, and like doing all the cool stuff that she's she's done. And she's yeah, she's she's badass. She's just crazy and tells it like it is with her yeah. like crazy nipple piercings. No, I love it. No filter. She no just, filter. She tells you what's up. Right. And she's in India. Yeah, that's cool. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy Loomis wants to know: Is Butch still a self-described wood gathering nut? I thought you were a wood crazy nut. I thought you wood said wood crazy nut no. is the proper word. If you remember, we got down to one log, one oh. log. I know, and and Heidi was freezing, Jenna was freezing. And I got the log and put two. I said, I'll never want to go through that again. So yes, I I would do the <laughs> so, same yeah. thing over again. I would do the same thing over again to try to stockpile wood. We I did not really like cold. being cold. It was we were cold. Really cold. Yeah, it was it was miserable conditions. People think the Amazon. And everybody will agree with this that it's nice and hot all the time. At night, it wasn't night, real. It got chilly. It, yeah. it yeah. got chilly, and I did not like. And how else were we going to start? It didn't have any flint. You know, we were everything was burned up. It was bad. Yes, uh, Butch. Let me let me ask you a question. So, tr true or false? You that uh, you you blame me for us us not winning when we voted out Christie. I voted. Um, that was a key of the whole. Um, uh, for me, for me not winning was because you guys didn't go to straighten <laughs> Christie out. You went to the girls. I tried. I didn't get a chance to I talk to Christie. Christie on the boat. I had Christie was voting with us guys. The girls were gone. Heidi no, and Jenna were gone. And so I'm smiling, and the next thing I know, Christy goes. I'm going, what the heck happened here? <laughs> yeah, so, you, were, you were pissed. Yeah, had Christy stayed with us, uh, it would have been an altogether different. Um, <laughs> it would have been shitty. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a different outcome, but she she went to the dark side. Well, what would she didn't. <laughs> you guys, Butch, what what would have happened? What would have happened if we if we voted out Chris? Uh, if we voted out uh, who were we gonna vote? I guess we would have voted out what Jenna gave the necklace away. We vote out Jenna, and they would talk about Jenna was the dumbest player ever. Yeah. Um, right. Jenna would have gone, and then Heidi would have gone. Then it would have been down to Matt and me and you. Which would have been the worst finals yeah. ever. And, and then Butch and Matt would have voted me out. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I still think. I still think if it was Butch. 
and uh, Matt in the finale. Butch win. Butch wins that. I think Matt. Oh, yeah. I think Matt in the finale at the well, end of that doesn't ever win, no matter who he's up against. <laughs> right. Oh, well, Rob and Matt figured that out. You know, and they went and told Jen, and they said, "Look, Butch has got it won. That's when I got voted out." They said, and and I I knew it. I told my wife when she was there, "I won." Huh? I told you I would. And now I get my tattoo. Well, I so Christy when I got off the plane, I, she wouldn't let me get a tattoo. Chrissy yeah. said the same thing to her boyfriend when the family visit there. She's like, "I think I'm gonna win. I'm doing really well." And I'm like, and I told my dad, and Heidi told her mom, like, "I'm like, oh, I'm screwed. I'm going home next." It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I gotta so, tell you, that's the thing that I feel worst about about the whole experience. Yes, is your mom. mom. I know your mom. And didn't I even didn't get to see me. I didn't my know dad, that. My dad. I had no idea until I got home. So I talked my, to my mom when I got home. Yeah, well, my dad like, was just talking about that the other day because my dad said all the family members were at dinner and they wanted. My dad said they wanted all the family members to go upstairs and they were going to call them and tell them who was yep. sent home. But my dad's like, no, let's do it like the survivors do it. Tell us right here. No, but with no. everyone around and all the other family members were like, yeah, do it, do it, like like the, like the kids are doing it. And they were like, okay, Alex's mom, you, and it was like so sad. It was so yeah. like so depressing. I felt so bad for your mom. Came yeah, well, here, let's, well, here, we have a question about this. Let's go to Andy Niles and I'll bring this up. Uh, let's know. Does uh, Jenna or Alex have hard feelings against Rob for what he did on this? Now, first off, no. if Jenna has hard feelings against me, how dare, how dare you, Jenna? How dare you? <laughs> you have no reason to have any hard feelings against me. You have no what reason. did you but do? I didn't do anything to you. Uh, I mean, what did you do that they're Alex talking is, about? Alex is the only one that was allowed to answer this question, so we're not gonna, we don't even want to hear what you have to say. A hundred percent, I do not have any hard feelings. I think Rob played an amazing game. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was terrible at the game. Terrible. No, you weren't but terrible. Hang on. hang on, the only reason I got as far as I did is because of Rob. No, no, that's not no, true. No, that's it, not true, Alex. Totally yeah. true. Rob, Rob had all the like. Rob had the the whole like strategy down. I followed him through the whole thing, and and I don't have any hard feelings. I think well, Rob, you did an awesome job playing our playing the game in our season, and you totally should have won it. I mean, Jenna, I voted. Oh, you hear that, Jenna? In the yeah. end, like. You know, if well, it had been you and Rob up there, it would have been a really yeah. I know you should have won. <laughs> in the uh, finale, if it had been you and Rob, it would have been a really tough call. Yeah. It would have been real tight. Um, yeah, but I, I, I don't have any hard feelings against Rob at all. It, Rob, you're awesome. I think, like, I, I honestly, like, I, I, when we were there, I thought of you as like a little brother. I thought you were awesome the whole time we were there. I don't have yeah. any hard feelings at all. You're, you're, you're the man. Dude. You did a great job. <laughs> well, I, I really appreciate you saying that, Alex. I, I really, I really, really do. And. I really did feel like you—you uh, you had the game uh, pretty much won. Um, but both you and Dina, I really felt like were the two people that I uh, that I felt the most uh, the most scared of while we were out there. And then you ended up being the one to get to get rid of Dina. But mm -hmm. then I was very I was very scared of not only you winning the game, but I really felt like you and Heidi and Jenna had become <laughs> closer to one another. And we I did. did. Yeah. Honestly, and, though, Rob, I, I'll tell you this honestly right now, 100%, I would have stuck with you to the very end. I never would have voted you off. Yeah. Honestly. And I don't blame you for voting me off at all. I really don't. I have no hard feelings, but I, I wouldn't have. I would have taken you all the way to the end with me. I, you were my boy. Yeah, I thought, I thought you would have taken Heidi. I really thought you would have taken Heidi hmm. since you guys were so close. We were. We were. But, but Rob, was like, Rob was like my little brother. Like I totally would, I I I would have had you all the way to the end, Rob. No worries. Oh, now, now I feel stupid. Well, <laughs> damn it! Let's go yeah, back. Thanks a lot, again. Alex. Yeah. Let's well played. Play. Let's play again. <laughs> Let's all play again. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you guys, you guys have gotten a chance to play again. Kind of. Well, yeah. You 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 know, you know what would be a fun twist is if they invited back an entire season to play, to play to again. Play all over again. Right. That yes. awesome. They bring back the whole cast of Survivor. The is it men versus women again this time, or is it yes, start it all, yes. like do it yeah, all again? Can, all right, what happens? Who, all right, we'll see what happens. Who, right, who, do we vote, win. who do the men vote out first? Do you guys vote me out first? This no, time? Ryan. Well, still Ryan. Still Ryan. <laughs> Ryan would definitely be the first one out. <laughs> <laughs> and Dan would be right behind. Yeah. Yeah. So, the whole show is exactly the same. <laughs> right. Nothing changes. Wait, well, the difference. The <laughs> difference. No, the difference in the show right. is I would have gone, and I almost did this, and I kicked myself for not doing it. To 
Gene and Christy and Butch and said, we're going to vote Heidi out. Total different outcome in the game. Yeah. Had that happened. Yeah. yeah. That would have been different. Been different. And, and we didn't do it. And I could have done it very easily. And Dave, because Dave and Heidi were, they, he, the only, I. You got to shut that down, Roger. I was too honest. I, yeah. Absolutely. I you know what, Roger? You know what you would have done by doing that? You would have ruined the most memorable moment of our entire season. Oh, oh no. Who's to say? Who's to say Jenna wouldn't have taken her clothes off by herself? <laughs> I'll always take no my No one. Off. It could have been. It would have been Jenna and her clothes off. But it was the fact that they both did it that made <laughs> it more. It would have been Jenna and Christy. And then, <laughs> oh, it would have been Jenna and Christy in Playboy. No. <laughs> Megan's dumb. <laughs> Megan's dumb. <laughs> it would have been Gene. Gene Jenna all, and Gene, maybe. They do all these cheesy twists now where they're like, bring back a couple of fans, a couple of favorites. But wouldn't it be kind of interesting to see what it would be like if you brought back an entire cast and then just mixed it up and see how everything would play out again? I, I, I don't know. I think that would be cool. kind of interesting. I personally, I know you guys all think I'm crazy, but I personally think they should never bring anybody back. We all had our chance. Mm. That's one and it. done. One well, and that's know, it. They, one and done. That. that that's part of the whole thing. It's become too much television. Way too much. It really has. I'm, yeah. I'm very. I haven't. I have. I stopped watching the show a long time ago, and and that's because of that. All right. Well, we got uh, a lot of people still going uh, in the chat room. Believe it or not, Roger, people are actually watching uh, watching along on the internet <laughs> as we're as we're going, asking questions, commenting the whole time. Jessica, let's get uh, give me a few give me a few more questions from the chat room. Let's take some questions from the chat room. We'll go about like ten more minutes. Is that good? That's good. All right, ten, ten more minutes. Good uh, me. I don't know about these guys. Yeah, are you guys okay? You got ten more minutes in you? Yep. All yeah. Top of the world. I'm tweeting a picture of us. I oh. need I need all the beauty sleep I can get, guys. Look at this face. Yeah, you look. <laughs> you're busted. Let's <laughs> let's do a few more things that that, that didn't happen on the show. Uh, I feel like we covered it. We covered a lot of the stuff that uh, the big questions from the show. Well, what are some more good stories that were things that happened that, that did not take place on the show? I mean, I I like I just keep thinking of the wedding. The wedding was a lot of fun. The wedding was fun. I and, thought the funniest thing I can remember was when we went to the second challenge. Two things: one, we were going to go in in our speedos. We didn't do it. Yeah. But remember, but remember Ryan falling or Dan jumping off the front of the boat and landing on his face? That does not surprise <laughs> me in the slightest yes. bit. He's such no, a the, the fact you're you're right, but the fact that we didn't go to our speedos, we should have. We really should have done it. Should have done yeah, that. We but, should have. but when Dan stood on front of that boat and jumped off and fell on his face, I thought I was going to die laughing. You remember that, Alex, don't you? <laughs> Pretty epic. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty epic. <laughs> the girls were up top and the guys were down below. It had been great to walk in and just stop and drop. Now, I, if you remember, I said, I'm not doing it because I had yeah, a big you were, belly. You, yeah, you didn't so even I have them on, did you? Well, yeah, I decided, well, if, if all seven of them are going to do it, I got to do it too. But boy, it'd been embarrassing for all in the Illinois. There was so much sexual tension that was going on between because they split. Like, I know that they just showed you boys like daydreaming about us. But there was a lot of talk about you guys with the girls back at our camp, too. There was a lot of hot and bothered conversation with the women, too. Like, ooh, who's going to make out? Who's going to get <laughs> well, What were the women saying? Who were they going to yeah. make out with? Yeah. Well, you know, everybody had, like, their, like, you know, <laughs> lo you know people they were talking about. <laughs> you know, hi, you know. Wow, you know. this is the first time I think Jenna's ever been shot. Yes. Whoa. I I, uh, I don't know. I mean, I think that we were all kind of like talking about who we would love to have sex with on the other group. Well, really, tell us who said who said this and whose names came up. <laughs> Rob, we all uh, know Roger, you. Roger, it wasn't me and you. <laughs> no, yeah. no, but I, probably not but me Butch, either. Butch, you know the other five. That was their constant. I mean, well, yeah, was, I mean, oh yeah, it was the, the testosterone level was oh. so freaking high. Yeah, I mean, I think gone. Heidi was Heidi was talking about you know, oh, Dave is cute, hey. and Shauna was talking about Alex, and I was talking about Alex and Rob. Well, I and can I'm tell like, you, a little, you would want to have sex with those guys. Shauna, Shauna really had it for Alex. Um, yeah, pretty much when every we went, time for well, Alex. When yeah, we, Alex. Yeah, when we went to Barrel Oaks. Alex was a player. <laughs> well, but everybody was under his spell. I got in deep yes. trouble because I got yes, in deep trouble. 
uh, when we went to Bariloche, Sean and I went on a run. And we we ran, I don't know, it was about six miles, and we were running up the hill, and we are standing at the top waiting for everybody else to come up. And she was going on about Alex, and I and I told her, you know, something like, you know, come on. He, he's, <laughs> you know, no, yeah. Roger, you're so romantic. Well, no, it, it was, it was, she was out in left field, I thought, but anyway, <laughs> Meredith comes up, they finally all come up there, and, and we're going to go ice climbing, and Shauna is standing over there and, and Meredith is consoling her and she got so upset because I told her that, you know, Alex really, I don't honestly believe Alex was really had the hots for you basically is what I told her, but not in that fashion, but she really, it really emotionally, she went off the deep end. No, she really did. I, I, she, you know, I think they really did. You know, she really did care for him. They have a, Oh no, I, there's no doubt about it. Alex, she, she worshiped you in the, yeah, it's, uh, who can blame her? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, one of the things in in recently rewatching this the season, one of the things that I had kind of forgotten about was there was sort of like a love triangle, not just with Alex and Shauna, but also with uh, Matt in the in the mix also. Yes. And there's like some weird yes. scenes where it's like you guys are like cuddling, and then like yes. Matthew's like grabbing like Shauna's hand. I've never yes. seen anything like that on Simone. Yeah, totally. Gosh, totally. that, Alex. Like Shauna was like literally laying on your lap, but Matt like had his hand on her hair. Too. A real love triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is that is all yeah. true. That all that is all true. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Weird what things happen. I'm there. just a, I'm just big pimping over here. What can I? Say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, here's here's a question. This is uh, this is from uh, David Willis, who wants to know. Who would have won fan favorite from your season? Now, they give away 100 I know you don't watch the show anymore, Roger. They give away $100,000 to uh, whoever, yeah, to whoever, Rob. yeah. Rob. Uh, what, I don't know. On our show? On our show. the fan favorite? Yeah. Who can you? I think about, you. what about Christy? What about Christy? No, no. No. No, no. no it would have been you. Christy, yeah. no. They Hands they did down. have a uh, most popular during our series. You remember that? No, and who was it? Was it you, Bush? Well, they Christy did it, and then when she was voted off, I was there for three or four weeks, and then the end was Matt. Matt had ninety three percent, and I had ninety two percent. It was Matt. Matt. It might have been Matt too. Matt was very yeah. popular. Yeah. Well, it, did you guys ever see Matt's pre? You know where you took. We all talk about yeah. what's going to happen. What do you say? About he he was hand me the money now. Whoa. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> and 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 I honestly believe, subtle as it is, Matt played the game. He ended up second, guys. Yeah, and uh, you know, I thought in the beginning. Remember when he he voted? Uh, he didn't vote for uh, Ryan, and uh, he actually voted for me. Yeah, and he was. Uh, he, he said, I didn't mean to do that. Remember? Yeah. I don't know if you remember that when we got back in the boat. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, in hindsight, after I saw that preview, I said, that guy really played the game pretty well. He actually oh, did. Christ. Hey, okay. Jenna, look how far he got. It looked like you. I, I, I have to tell you, Jenna, I, your performance to me was not a, a, not a number one performance. Well, I will say the one thing, though, with Matthew, though, was that there was a lot of times when we, he was going to be the next to go, and yeah. a lot of times we said, well... Let's get rid. We'll we'll get rid of him later, and then yeah. and that's what and that's really what happened with that's what happened with uh, with well, Dina right. and, with Dina and Alex. Matthew was supposed to go, and then somebody said, "Hey, let me get rid. Let me get rid of." And, and in the case yeah. of Dina, it was Alex and Dina both said, "Hey, let's get rid of the other one instead of Matthew." Yeah. So exactly there's a lot of like, oh, we'll just get rid of him later. Yeah, but like right. the plan that we had really, if yeah. we if we had gotten rid of Heidi and we when we merged, we were going to get rid of Matt. Yeah. Okay. And then we were going to knock off the girls. But the whole thing with, as, as uh, uh, Jenna said earlier, it would have been a terrible show. Yeah. You end up with five guys. Yeah, worst yeah. show who's ever. Gonna, yeah, who's gonna, the show would have been canceled. Well, see, I don't know. If you ever had, Probes actually, actually told us. You remember that, Bush? No. You don't remember <laughs> when we went to tribal council. This is before we merged. And he said, if you guys keep playing the game the way you are, it's going to be the worst show ever. <laughs> I don't remember it. I really don't. Yeah, I, it my I, know, and, I know you do remember it because okay, when we yes. came back to camp, I sat you all down 
and I said, hey, I, re I remember they picked that. us, and we'll play it the way we play it. And if we play it lousy, too bad. Yeah. Yep, I remember that. That you you were saying that now you you call Jeff Probst on the phone. Yeah, I have. <laughs> so tell tell us the story. Well, no, the, the thing with Jeff Probst started with I have a very good friend who is Hispanic, and he his brother actually called me and he said, "You got to listen to this radio show, okay?" And I said, "What?" He said, "Well, he he's calling you uh, a racist," and I said, "What?" I said, he, so he sends it to me, and I play it. And sure enough, so I called him. Yeah. Now, this time, I got an immediate callback. Well, yeah. Because CBS was <laughs> concerned. Well, because I head up, first of all, yeah. I grew up, my, one of my very first friends is Japanese. Yeah. I, in Vietnam, oh, this, okay. this, I am and not. And this is out of the Daniel uh, stuff. Yeah, okay. exactly. The one statement, Kung yeah. Fu Chow. Yes. So anyway, Probst, he called me then. <laughs> He called me then, and they were, you know, they were very concerned because I head up our good faith effort and all this stuff. For right, our right, company. right. Well, subsequent to that, I made a few calls with him, and he, after that blew over, he never called me back. But I would call him. I, I called him and told him what, when they started bringing people back. I said, "This is nuts." <laughs> you know, so, I would love to hear the voicemails you leave on Jeff Probst's phone. <laughs> but no, maybe I don't back. know. Does CBS, we can play those. Yeah, that's the question. Does CBS do what they a monitor classic. your podcast? Uh, I, I mean, uh, I think they, they, they listen. I know they did early. They monitored everything we did. At, at least I got that sense. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I think that, uh, you know, lots of people listen to this podcast, Roger. Come on, hey. <laughs> this is all new to yeah. me because I'm, I'm not even on Facebook. Oh, okay. He won, that. he won a podcast award. Yep. I know. I, I congratulated oh. him the other day. I said that's like yeah. an Emmy for podcasts. Emmy for good. podcasting. That's yeah. great. Uh, that's, uh, here, let me ask. Let's uh, have uh, another question for Roger. Uh, so Samuel Peterson wants to know what does Roger think of Rob's call to Casey Kasem uh, during Roger's vote out? Now, did that make did that make you mad when I when I did that? Of course well, it did. No, I'll tell you what. I heard it there. Yes, because we Rob, all did. Rob, we, yes, we all did. Very, very and, loud. And actually, I'm, I'm, I was totally caught off guard. But before that, Alex made a statement that, that, that kind of put my light on. And I wish I had enough presence then to, because I was going to say something. And I didn't because I wanted to get up and say, well, thanks, guys. You know. Yeah. But when Rob came to sit down, back down, remember, I looked yeah. at him, I said, thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah, and that's when I found. And you, heard I heard. Whole, you heard the whole thing. Yeah, I heard yeah. the whole thing. You were come on. You could have been on the other side of the island. Well, it, it's, it's hard to do impressions quiet. Remember how uh, pissed off Jeff Probst was? When you yeah. I really, I really wasn't. I you mean, remember Jeff Probst yelled at me then? Jeff after Probst that? was yeah. so mad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was so mad. Yeah. yeah. Well, did you remember what he said to me? No. Oh, he said, he said, that's never yeah. gonna make it. Yeah, he said, I swear, I swear to God, that will never. And he's like, I hope you, I hope you had fun, because I will swear to God that will never ever get on the show. <laughs> That's what he said. Really? He yeah. was so salty over that. He yeah. didn't like, that was, he didn't that like the first, staged. That wasn't the first time he yelled at you in Tribal Council, Rock. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> what, what else did he yell at yeah. for? What else did I get yelled at for? He yelled at us all the time. He was mad at us. Well, I was amazed. You know, first Tribal None. Council. <laughs> His whole tribal council, that was, you know, he took charge. And you know what really amazed me more than anything was his foul language. <laughs> yeah, like, he said yeah. foul a lot. Oh, you know. And I always tell people, you know, we were always there for, what, an hour or longer? For five minutes of tape. Yeah. You know? Now, that, Rob, the very first time we were in tribal council and he asked you something and you said went on something about like when I'm at home watching yeah. tribal council. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, he flipped out on Rob. Like he did. He flipped <laughs> out, cussed you out. Like lost well, because he was job. talking about the other show. Yeah, yeah. they were honest because we were talking about it that way all the yeah. time. Yeah, remember? And Bruce Bruce kept Jeff's, telling Jeff's point was, uh, please, uh, no, no Bruce talk, please, Roger. Uh, so, <laughs> when, okay. <laughs> when, when I, I, See, I never knew question. Bruce as well as you guys. <laughs> yeah. I did. I knew him real well. I'll bet you you're right. Yeah. So, so, um, 
as, as far as that goes, uh, apparently J Jeff doesn't want you to talk about the TV show Survivor. He yeah. wants to talk about what's going on there. And I yeah. said something that, like, hey, when, I, when I'm watching the TV show, he's like, that's it. We're not talking about the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, at first, remember, he got all over the camera, guys, and he, he was yelling. And, I mean, it was. Yeah, well, he's, you know, he's like Peyton Manning out there. He's like, you know, he's the quarterback. He's got a. He's got to audible and tell everybody, hey, make sure we get this. Now, you do such a great impression of him. Never, I, Alex, what are you eating now? <laughs> I'm just back to the popcorn. Well, I'm so hungry watching you. Oof. All right. All right, let's see if there's uh, one, one more question uh, for everybody. Uh, so, so, so was Dave really a uh, rocket scientist? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> Big time. You know, he went back on his master's and... He's got a kid now. Dave Dave Johnson's a kid? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Booyah. Booyah. Bangarang. Bangarang. Booyah. Bangarang. 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 He's a good kid. I tell you, he and I rode bikes after uh, uh, quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, well, unless anybody else has any other uh, any other stories they want to share, I guess we uh, start to start to wrap this up and we can probably time go for me on to go take on. my top off. Yeah. Well, yeah, do we have any chocolate and peanut butter? I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> Still? You know, <laughs> whatever. That's probably number one. You know what? That um, that comment. I mean, not comment. That situation. Number one, people think that I went like this when I said I wasn't looking. You should have. Uh, nah, I did the right thing. But you know what? The number one question is for the first eight years was, was there any toilet paper? Yeah, that was people ask one me question. that a lot. I say no. Yep. Now it's is that really real? And that's yeah. the number one question I now. get that question a lot, too. Yeah. Yeah. Or do they really feed you guys off camera? I'm like, yeah. no. Yeah, well, they, a, they don't ask that. We were pretty skinny. Now they ask it because yeah. people are much fatter on the show. Yeah. Well, yeah. don't you hate yeah. it when they complain now? Do, do you yeah. hear them complain? I we don't have any sick. food. Oh, they're, really eating <laughs> you know, they're eating coconuts. They're eating coconuts. I don't know. Stephanie, we had nuts. The <laughs> two toughest, toughest survivors were African and Argentine. Uh, yes. I don't know, I, for the environment. I, I yes. feel like says too. I'd say Africa was one. Yeah, I think yeah, Africa was worse than Africa was very tough. That water yeah. out of that elephant. Well, it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but Africa I do feel like was the worst. Mark for everybody, Africa was the worst in an we, we were lucky yep. that it didn't rain. It didn't rain that much. Yeah, we what? were lucky. We got lucky on it. Rained to the last ten days a lot. It didn't last rain ten that days much every day. How are you? Okay, it, it, but, yeah. but but basically we it was basically dry in the Amazon from day basically from day seven to like day thirty one. We we were very lucky. We got yeah, very good weather the, the whole middle of the game. Yeah. Um, and I kind of feel like every survivor feels like their theirs was the toughest, and it's. I think it gets a little bit like hey, when I was your age, I had to walk the school <laughs> uphill both ways, and now these guys have it easy. So I, I don't know. I think it's like uh, you know, it seems easier because it's everything doesn't seem as hard as what you did. But I, I bet it's probably pretty similar. We had a lot yeah. more clothes than they get now. No, so I think it. I think ours was harder. And Mark Burnett does say that that Africa is the hardest, and then ours is very difficult too. The lack of food, and we looked like crap yeah. if you go back and look at it. Yeah, and the, the, the third, and the, the third hardest, hardest game of all time is called Know Your Limits. Yes. Yes. Know your limits. <laughs> and watch. I want to see that picture of those guys making out. Yeah, it's we don't have to see that. Okay, uh, and Bill and Bill Methling, last question: so Has Jenna been approached by any peanut butter companies for endorsement? That uh, hey, my Skippy is so good, I'll get have, naked for it. You have no idea how many people still say, "I have some peanut butter on me." <laughs> I have no idea. Even like when I'm with my dad, like, oh, yeah. really? Like they expect me to go, like, oh, peanut butter. Yeah, here is my vagina. Like, yeah, I'm just a what? prostitute for peanut Take butter. A look. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well. Well, I thanks. have standards now. Like, they're yes. a little bit higher, but they're not that high. A little bit higher. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. This was this was so much fun. Uh, thank you, for one, Roger, for coming to, to visit me at my at my house. Uh, we, now, what, 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 what's more pathetic, uh, my karaoke setup or this setup here at my apartment, Roger? Obviously, your karaoke setup. That was more pathetic. <laughs> yes. Uh, th thank you, uh, Alex, Butch, and Jenna for joining us here live as well. Thanks, Rob. This is awesome. Thanks, Thanks Rob. Thank you. Does anybody, so you, guys have a, you guys have anything you want to tell people to check out? No. I mean, they can just follow me on Twitter, I guess. Follow, follow <laughs> at yeah, Jenna Morask on Twitter. Roger, at what Alex, are you going to get on Twitter? Are you on Twitter? 
I, I sort of no. am. I don't tweet really. I, I'm so lost on all this stuff. Um, but I am going to try to make it to the CrossFit Games this year. So if you guys want to watch that, probably yeah. not going to happen. But you know, I'll give it a shot. Is there like a website where people can like donate money for like you to raise funds or something? Who no, but I should do that maybe. <laughs> Would people actually pay attention? Would people actually care that I did anything? I don't even know. Like, of course. I, you know, I gotta go to work. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about that's about all I got. It was great to see you guys though. You guys, yeah. Butch, yeah. you don't look like you've aged a day. It's kind well, of like Benjamin Button. Yeah, <laughs> right. Butch got younger. Yeah, yeah. Butch automatically. Like, Butch obviously uh, is is doing something right. Um, but you guys are great, right? and it was great seeing you guys and, and talking to you guys. You guys, yeah. It was I think of I think of you guys yeah. often. Just to let you know, Alex and Jenna and Rob, Roger. I think of you guys yeah. often. I wish we could have a reunion like where we could actually see each other in person. Yeah, let's do it. And I would love to ready. arrange that. Butch, you're ready to go back, right? I'm ready. I'd like no, to go I mean, back. Nobody would not, recognize me if I went back on the show. I'd be not ready. Not in the Amazon. Please, let's <laughs> no. have a reunion. No, 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 no. To the Survivor. I still think the greatest twist Survivor could ever do is put Butch back on the show, and they call him a different name, and they don't right. tell they don't tell anybody, and it's called under Survivor Undercover Butch. Like, right? like they did on Big Brother. Yes, yes, and they but they don't tell Butch that anybody that Butch is a returning player, and then we That's see right. how he can do. He's like America's player. Yeah, like right. this, the new guy. He's getting so much wood. <laughs> <laughs> so good. All right, uh, hey Jenna, you're in charge. Put the reunion together. I yeah. would love to. Put it together. I'll come. Yeah. I'll come hang out with you guys. Yay. Vegas. Really? Ooh. Or Ooh. or Walla Walla, Washington. <laughs> or Walla Walla, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. no, that wouldn't happen. My wife wouldn't uh, wouldn't go for that. Okay. Uh, oh, all right. All right. So, so shut you... that down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Survivor, Survivor of the Amazon, if you want to relive the memories, it is available on DVD. If you want to get it from Amazon, you can go to the link. Rob has a website.com slash S6DVD. That will take you right to the page on Amazon to get the uh, the box set of Survivor Amazon. Do you own, you own the DVDs, Roger? Yes, I do. Yes, yes I so do even, too. Yes, even Roger, even Roger bought the, and you bought them yourself? Or they sent them to you? No, actually, a friend bought them for me. Oh, I was going to say, I feel I like, out of principle, I don't see you putting out the thirty, the $30. It was, for the oh, it was only $25, I believe. Oh, that's right. Anyway, yeah, no, he, sale. I didn't even know it was on there. And, he, and Rob, isn't there a um, isn't there a commentary track? Yes, yes. You can download to go along with that? <laughs> yes, you, yeah, can also, you, you can also get uh, Survivor the Amazon uh, commentary if you go to... Uh, uh, what what is it? Uh, F, uh, go to Rob's website dot com slash commentary. Doesn't it s six commentary dot com? Yeah, I couldn't remember the the dot the dot com. Yeah, either one. They take it to the same place. So check that check that out as well, guys. Thank you so much. This has been Yay, a, this was yeah. so fun. Uh, so much fun. I, I, I wanted to see you guys in person and give you all the yeah. hug. Yeah, I wanted to do this for a long time. I'm glad we were able to make it happen. Uh, to to the five people that care about Survivor Amazon. <laughs> yes, just, right? just us. Yes, everybody else has, has moved on with their lives, and it's probably better off for it. Probably yeah. true. <laughs> All right, take take care, everybody out everybody out there. We've got a big uh, a big a big week coming up. Survivor premiere is on is on Wednesday. This just this just in. Survivor premiere, Roger, you'll you'll appreciate this. It was going to be two hours. They changed their mind at the last minute. It's only going to be ninety minutes. Thank God. So, so it's hey, going to be. Yeah. Well, we were two yeah. hours. Yeah. Were we? Next no, week. we were ninety minutes. Thank you. Yes. We were ninety minutes. Yes, and happy. I, ours was still the best first episode of season. Obviously. I yes. yes. I absolutely believe it. Yes, and, and happy early birthday to uh, Jenna Maraska as well. Yay. Uh, Yay. Celebrating a birthday next week. So everybody. Thank you, guys. So stay tuned for updates on what what we're going to do when Survivor Know It Alls is going to be on after the premiere episode, and lots of good stuff coming next week. So take care, everybody. Thanks again to everybody and have a great night. Bye, guys. Right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.